Hello everyone, and welcome to Fox Tech. Today we're going to discuss how to remove the floating home button on your iPad. This floating button is actually the assistive touch feature, which can perform a variety of functions based on your settings. While it can be very useful for some, it might be something you find unnecessary or even annoying. Let's go through how to remove it or customize it to better suit your needs. The floating home button you see on your iPad is the assistive touch button. This feature is part of Apple's accessibility options and can be set up to perform different tasks. For instance, on my iPad, clicking the assistive touch button takes a screenshot. On your device, it might do something different, like um, opening a menu with additional options. This button is designed to help users with physical disabilities use their iPad more easily, but if you don't need it, you can turn it off. To remove the floating home button, you need to go into the settings app. Once you're in settings, scroll down and tap on the accessibility section. Here you'll find various options designed to make your iPad easier to use. Look for the touch option under the physical and motor category and tap on it. At the top of the touch menu, you'll see assistive touch. Tap on this to access the settings for the floating button. The easiest way to remove the floating home button is to simply disable assistive touch. You'll see a toggle switch at the top of the assistive touch settings. If the switch is green, it means assistive touch is enabled. Tap the switch to turn it off. It will turn gray, indicating that assistive touch is now disabled. The floating home button should disappear immediately from your screen. If you don't want to remove assistive touch entirely, but want to customize its functions, you can do that too. Within the assistive touch settings, you have the option to customize what the button does, you can set it to act as a home button, mute your iPad, open specific menus, or even start custom shortcuts. This customization allows you to tailor the assistive touch button to your specific needs, making it a more useful tool if you decide to keep it. To customize, go to the customize top level menu option in the assistive touch settings. Here you can add, remove, um, or change, change the function, change functions of the icons that appear when you tap the assistive touch button. You can make it do almost anything you want from accessing notifications to opening the control center or launching specific apps. This flexibility ensures that if you do keep the assistive touch button, it works exactly how you want it to. So to summarize, if you wanna get rid of the floating home button on your iPad, go to settings, then accessibility, and then touch. From there, you can disable assistive touch entirely or customize it to perform different functions that might be more useful to you. That's all for today's video. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace 